Hello friends, it's Miss V again, and we're reading a book about bugs. This is not really about bugs in particular. This is actually about an anteater who does not want to eat bugs. So we're going a little different, but we're still talking about bugs, which is our topic of the week. So now we're going to read the icky sticky anteater. There once was an anteater who didn't eat ants. He preferred things like berries and honey and plants. His tongue was long and sticky, just like the rest. But he found just the thought of ants hard to digest. The other anteaters shook their heads in disgust. Eating ants is your job. And eat them you must. So he stuck out his tongue and wrinkled his nose and in anticipation began searching about. He walked through the grass. He soon found a hole. Zip! And went his tongue. And out came a mole. What's going on? said the sleepy mole. Blinking, silly me, said the ant eater. What was I thinking? He found another hole by the shore of the lake. Zip! In went his tongue, and out came a snake. No ants in here, said the snake with a shout. Now take your sticky tongue and kindly get out. He found another hole and quite out of habit. Zip! It went his tongue and out came a rabbit. Hey, stop that, said the rabbit, hopping mad. My mistake said the anteater, who was growing quite sad. I can't find any ants, he said. I just can't. But the next thing he knew on his tongue was an ant. Look, he shouted, an ant on my tongue. And around he went, showing everyone. But his happy mood changed rather quickly. The ant on his tongue was crawly and tickly. He wanted to scream and he wanted to shout. So he curled up his tongue and whew, spit the ant out. I can't eat this ant. I can't and I shan't. I'll stick to eating berries and honey and plants. Everyone is different. That much is true. I've got to be me, and you've got to be you. Hmm. The ant looks a little bit relieved. The other ant eaters decided it was okay if everyone did things in their own special way. They had a big party that very night with honey and berries and not an ant in sight. So that was the very icky sticky ant eater. And he still got to not eat ants. I'm sure that made the ants happy. So this is not about bugs, but it's kind of about the ant. And I'm sure the ants were happy that they weren't eaten. But we're still learning about bugs, and I hope you learn about more bugs during your walks with your parents while you're trying to stay safe. Bye, friends. I miss you.